So first thing we're going to do is now sample a color from our original picture to fill in our midtone. So what I'll do is just unlock my photo layer and expand that. And I'm just going to hide the posturized version of my photo while leaving the original photo visible. And I'll just collapse that back in place. So now what I'll do is select the mid-tone shape. And you can always target that shape directly from your layers as well. So you can just click on the target right beside mid-tone. And there's a couple ways that you can go about getting your mid-tone color. So the first way is to grab your eyedropper tool have your midtone shape selected and now sample an area inside of your midtone. Okay. If you're not happy with the color you got, you just do a command Z, undo, sample a different area until maybe you find something that's close. If you're happy with that, then you can go to your color panel and you can adjust the color. Okay. So it's best to actually adjust this using your hue, saturation, and brightness. So you can get that from the flyout menu of your color panel. And then if it's too dark, you can increase the brightness. Or if it's too light, you can add black to it right? so that you can make it darker. You can either saturate or desaturate the color. And then once you're done, you can drag that color swatch from your color panel directly into your swatch panel and you can save it. The other way that you can find a mid-tone color is if you go to your swatch panel right at the bottom where you have your swatch library menu. If you click on that there's a panel just called skin tones. So if you click on skin tones, it opens up a panel where it gives you a set of color groups that have different skin tone variations. And you can either choose one of those to use as a base. And again, you can start to modify them with your color panel as well. Okay? And once you get a color that you like, just save it to your swatches and you can name it a skin tone or mid tone color.